We're in the middle of nowhere outside of Willow Springs Raceway with Nick Kappa from Ram. He's got a pretty cool job. <laughs> I do. I really do. <laughs> you do. I see all the pictures you post on yeah, Facebook. Oh, yeah. Life's pretty rough for a guy to make. All right. We're in, I would say, your most unique pickup truck, which is the Power Wagon. Yeah, this Very is the 2016 Ram Power Wagon. It is, without a doubt, the most off-road capable pickup truck you can buy. And largely uh, because of the features that we put into the truck. It's, it's built on a three-quarter ton platform. So really, we start with a Ram 2500, and then we build up from there. Uh, some of the features that make it extremely capable are it has front and rear locking differentials. So true four-wheel drive, meaning all four wheels can operate at the same time to grab as much traction at the ground as possible. You also have a non-slip transfer case, so there's no slipping from front to rear. It's a gear-driven transfer, chain-driven transfer case, so there's no slipping. Um, some other features include a, a sway bar disconnect so that the two axles can move independently of each other. It allow a lot of articulation, so you always have tires on the ground. Again, more traction. And then, of course, a 12,000-pound winch. Of course, you can put yourself up and over a wall if you have to. All right, so we're going to put it in neutral and go into four high. So this truck actually has a manual transfer case, which is somewhat unique in the industry anymore. Uh, most are push button electronic, but the customer for the Power Wagon generally enjoys having a manual shifting transfer case, a lot like the Wrangler owner, the Jeep Wrangler owner. So you, you can put it in four high, four low, two high, or neutral. And you can do that all manually with a transfer case and shift it to the ground. Yeah, a lot of these are sold to like yeah, Border Patrol and you know, National Park, Forest Rangers. We offer it in three different trims now, so you, you can hit all of those different areas. You get the person who's using this truck for a tool. They get out in the middle of nowhere, and they need something that's going to get them back by themselves in case they get in trouble. Even if you get stuck in a mud pit, you can unspool the winch and pull yourself out. If you uh, want a mid-level trim, maybe you tow your Jeep out someplace, and you got to go and maybe save your buddy's vehicle or something. Means it's a great recovery rig as well as a great tow rig because it can tow a lot of weight, but still has the capability to get you in and out of a situation. And then, of course, you have a Laramie trim level too, which is a very nice trim. That could be the rancher style vehicle, the guys out fixing fences all day or whatever, hauling a trailer. It's nice to have a vehicle that has the capability to get yourself in and out of bad situations. Now, the Power Wagon name goes pretty far back. It does. Back, it actually came from when we first offered the truck to some civilians. They were out in war, World War II. And then they came back, they said they wanted a truck that operated just like it did in wartime. And so Dodge, at the time, came up with the Power Wagon. So right now, what you're doing is you're, you're driving at a pretty decent angle uphill on some loose dirt, and the truck's constantly looking for where there's traction and delivering torque to those wheels. The Power Wagon comes stand with a 6.4 liter Hemi, 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. And the previous version had a 4, 4, uh, 5.7 liter Hemi, didn't have as much power as much torque, so now we can change the gear ratio in the axles to a 410 set, and that allows for better fuel economy, and now you have cylinder deactivation in the 6.4, so it actually can run in four-cylinder mode more often. So we just did this, this is our second time around. First time we had it in hill descent control, this time we didn't even bother, and it's still performing. Yeah, and you're even in four high, and we're not using the lockers, we're not using, and we haven't even turned on sway bar disconnect, so to improve the ride, so let's do that. Now, the axles are now allowed to move a lot more, which makes the ride more comfortable in these situations. But we're climbing a pretty decent elevation. What would you say this is? How many it's, feet it's, up? It's, it's a thousand? Do you at, think least, a thousand? Yeah, at least a thousand. At least a thousand feet. And, and we did it in a relatively short period of time. And it's loose. We're yeah, it's been pretty dry over here. Yeah. And so, figuring the fact that we're running Jeep trails in a three quarter ton truck without any issues is pretty impressive. It's safe to say this really has no competitors. No, it is uh, absolutely the most off-road capable pickup truck, and the fact that it's built on a three-quarter ton platform makes it also very capable for weight. So trailer towing, uh, payload, those types of things too are very uh, helpful. So now we're taking our way down. We actually have this beautiful view. I know your audience can't see it, but we're looking overlooking the Willow Spring racetrack right now as we're headed down a pretty deep slope. We're gonna go ahead and put it in uh, put it in neutral. Let's try to use hill descent control. All right, pretty simple. Now you gotta put it in four low. Muscle that thing one more, one more clip for it. There you go. And then hit hill descent control. 
There you go. Now you can put it in drive and control the speed that you want to go down the hill. You gotta put it in drive with the thumb, the thumb uh, plus and minus on the column shifter. So right now you're not using any of the gears. You dropped a one. Yep. So that's the slowest speed. Then you get every gear you want to go up higher. Every plus you do, it's a little bit more miles per hour. So you can go from like one mile an hour to one and a half mile an hour to two mile an hour, depending on what gear you select for hill descent control. Another right. thing that makes this truck and our all of Rams three quarter ton trucks very unique is that we have a link forward suspension system. So that allows us to control the rear axle a lot better. Leaf springs just inherently aren't very good at lateral load. But when you have five links attached to the axle controlling its lateral movements and wrap, you can actually deliver a better ride. And then link, combine that with the link coil itself rather than the leaf spring. And you don't have any stick slip friction, it's just a lot smoother ride. So we're able to deliver um, what's close to a half ton truck ride with a three quarter ton truck and people are really enjoying that. All right, we're good. We're back in two wheel drive, back on pavement. Thanks a lot, Nick. Appreciate it. No problem.